Hey everyone, it's Nat Alablas here, your digital marketing sleuth. And in today's video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to pin pins onto your Pinterest boards for your business profile. I'm going to go through my strategies and how I choose a pin and just talk to you a little bit about um, the purpose of doing that, of you know, pinning pins to your boards. Now, I have a website called Home Health Living, which I have largely neglected on Pinterest only because of lack of time factor, but it's something that I'm focusing on growing this year. So I thought I would show you this example of how I would um, you know, pin things here onto this account. Now, the Home Health Living Pinterest account is a business account. Um, I will show you in a future video how to turn your personal um, profile into a business profile. And the benefit of doing this is that you are uh, able to access other features that you normally wouldn't be able to, such as Pinterest analytics, which shows you data that you need to know about your pins and how well they're performing or how they're not performing. So what I've done with Home Health Living was I've created boards. Now think of boards as being similar to your old traditional cork board that you would hang up on your wall and you pin different photos and inspirational things. So a board on Pinterest is similar to that. People would add inspirational things or ideas or things they want to come back to later on. They would pin the pin to that board um, and you'd create different boards for different topics. Now when you have a business account, um, what you would want to do is create a board to do with different aspects of your business so different topics or, or things or products that your customers or your readers would be interested in. So what I've done for my one is just ignore this first one. That's a group board, which I'll come back to another time. But I've got one here called Wellbeing Tips, another one for aromatherapy ideas, um, another one for healthy kitchens. This is to do with food, um, one for wellness product reviews. And these two here, which I haven't really done much with, health and fitness, Christmas ideas and affirmations, quotes and inspiration. Now, something that I say to people is when you're creating your boards, don't do too many. It's better just to start off with maybe three or four and make sure that each board has at least 10 to 15 pins. Don't do what I've done here and left these empty because when people uh, find you, they'll either find your whole profile when they search on Pinterest or they may find your board. So they might be searching for health and fitness Christmas gifts and this half empty board will appear. They won't want to come and follow you. They will not want to look at your board because it doesn't look appealing having something that's half empty. So what I always say is it's better to start off with just a few boards and have them full of lovely pins, at least 10 to 15 to start off with, then to have a board, so many boards where they've got a, you've got a couple of one, only one pin here and only three or four here. So this is a bad example. But what I'm going to do now, firstly, to tidy that up and I'll show you how to do it it is that I am going to turn these three boards into secret boards. I'm not ready to grow these boards just yet. So rather than delete them, I'm just going to make them secret, which means that nobody else will be able to see them except for me. So if you click on that to edit and click on secret, so that's now made the account secret and I save that. And so now if you go down, that board is now a secret board. So I'm going to do the same with this one here. Click on the pencil, make it secret, and then save. So now you can't see the board up here. So this is what's visible to the public, but the secret boards are down here. So these are the ones that only I will see. And I'll just do the same for this last one. Secret. Before I click save, I'll just show you. So here I've got my title, which I would have got from the keyword research that I did beforehand. And then in your description, you need to write something descriptive about that board. Again, using your keywords so that when people are searching for that particular topic, there's more chance of your board being found on Pinterest. So I'll just, I've clicked on secret and I'll click save. So now I've moved those empty boards or half empty boards to secret only and now all I'm left with is better quality boards. Um, and if I'll just click onto this one, for example. So this is wellbeing tips. And so what I've done here is I have pinned some of my own pins from my website, but I've also looked up other people's pins and added them as well. And this is all just about general well-being. So house plants that clean the air, 12 foods that help you sleep, 100 plus powerful ways to relax and calm your anxious mind. So what my aim is, is to find the best pins, the most informative, the ones that look the greatest and add them to my board, make my board appealing. See, I've already got four followers here with 16 pins uh, and that's just without really growing 
this board much at all. I haven't spent much time on Pinterest. But what I'll do now is I may look up um, um, health wellbeing tips. And that's going to be searching now for pins. Okay, so here's some stuff that's come up. I'm just now going to scroll through scroll through and see what's appealing. Now, I always look for vertical pins um, and pins that have a, a clear title on here, so self-care ideas for a healthier and happier you. That's a pretty good one. Um, how gut health reflects your affects your sleep. Uh, let's have a look what looks appealing to me. Things to do when you have a headache. Okay, let's do that one. So let's save that. So I click on save. Now I get to choose what board I want to add that pin to. So I'm going to go to Wellbeing Tips, click Save, and that's now saved to my board. So when people go to my board, they will find that pin. Okay, another one. Let's have a look. Um, what stands out? Okay, well, this one here is for aromatherapy, so I might save that one. And I'll save that to my aromatherapy ideas board. And I've done that. Okay, so the point, you're probably wondering, why am I doing this? What is the point of pinning other people's content? Because all that's going to do is drive traffic to their website. Well, the point is to build your authority in that particular niche. So I wanted to, I want to make myself look like an authority in health and well-being. Um, and I will add my own pins as well to my boards. Um, but people want to not only follow your content, but other people's content as well. Um, and it's a way for you to also um, discover new uh, blogs or people or businesses in your niche as well so it's not just about you promoting your own stuff you do need to uh, promote other people's content as well um, and in doing so you'll grow your following um, and then when you grow your following and you're adding new pins your followers will see the pins that you've added the ones that are from your website and that's going to drive the traffic back to your website as well um, now, one final thing that I will show you is something that I will talk about in a future video, but this is a really, really great tool, and that is finding group boards. Now, a group board is a board that's um, – it's there's one admin person, but there are multiple people that belong to that particular group board. And what that means is you can post your stuff on there and other people's stuff, and you've got um, just a wider range of audience, a wider audience that will see your um, pins. So it's not just people who follow you, but people who follow that board. Um, so it's kind of like having a Facebook group and sharing your content in a Facebook group, um, but it's a lot better. So it's always really good to try and find group boards in your niche. So this is um, one that I found, which is best holistic health tips from top bloggers. So it's all health bloggers, holistic health, and we all share not just our content, but other people's content as well. So at some stage, it's a really great idea to try and find a group board for your particular niche, and I will help you do that in a future video. So in a nutshell, that is it. That's me pinning content or pins onto my profile into my different boards and how I um, create the boards and separate them and my strategy. I hope that you've got something out of this video. Um, until next time, bye for now.